Hi, this is Dan Pearson. This is a run through of the demo preset that I put together for the Black Box Compact Sampling Studio, 1010 Music's awesome new little standalone music making device. So, uh, the first element that I used was a melody, a little kalimba part, and um, after using uh, this device for quite a while, it actually feels like holding a bit of an embira or a kalimba in your hand with this uh, on screen keyboard, which is a cool little thing. So, that's how I came up with this little dinky little riff, very embira, classic embira kind of thing. Uh, you can have a listen to it dry there. Uh, let's turn the delay down. So you just select the uh, sample cell you want to adjust the effects of. Back to the keys. So that's how I recorded that part. It's just into this sequence here. Turn off song mode here. Yeah. Alright, so we can activate the se sequences individually. It's just in sample mode there. There's no loops or uh, boundaries or anything going on. It's still a little bit of a high pass filter on it to cut off the bass a little. little bass stab comes in next. There's, you can zoom into all of the sequences here. So I've got that set to mono mode so it re-triggers. There's a bit of a string pad from my JV1080, a really awesome classic string sample. And you can see the pink markers here. I've dialed up a different sample length and adjusted the uh, release appropriately. Uh, as it's set to poly mode, we can get four voices out of each cell. Next up, I brought in some percussion. Uh, I tend to use the bottom eight cells for drums and percussion sounds and the top eight cells for melodic content. The next element was a breakbeat that uh, was a recording of my drums, an acoustic drum kit. It's in the slicer and uh, each slice is mapped to a different note. It's a handy way to um, program beats. So of course you can zoom in to sample level and you can get a little scroll overview here too. So let's have a listen to that. So you'll note that um, there's a pad and a keys view. It's going to make sure that you've got the right one selected here. Yeah. So there's all the node information for the sliced breakbeat. So that's in keys view, you can see the whole key range. If you go to pads view, then you can see each uh, sample pad individually on the one window so I programmed some more one shots in over the top got an extra kick and another snare there got a couple of uh, toms and a crash as well for the fill as the uh, cymbal hit comes in before the start of the bar I created a separate sequence so I can toggle that on and off
each cell has a filter on it. Really cool for filtering different parts in and out. So just sort of rolled back the hi-hats a little bit on that to make it a little bit less harsh. If we go to uh, song mode here, you can see there's four different sections. So we'll uh, have a listen from the start. Uh, first we want to deactivate all the cells, so we'll turn them all off. Okay. So it'll scroll through the different um, sections as they go along. The first one, you can set the uh, bar length for each section there. It, was, it had four bars of um, counting, so I made that 20 bars. So everything's automated now. That's a sample of an oud, a Middle Eastern stringed instrument. So the uh, first bass line that I originally came up with is a very simple part. And then I came up with an alternate part as well. And then I thought, oh, well, let's try playing them both at the same time. And as it's set to mono mode, it will re-trigger. So I ended up using both sequences at once. song mode back on again go to the uh, solo section I got my friend Leon to play some MIDI guitar that's just a recording it's in there in tempo sync so when you're in song mode uh, tells you up in the top right hand corner which song section you're currently in. There's also a handy little indicator to show your bar position within the section. So that's just a brief overview of the preset that I used for the black box demo. You can find out more information about the capabilities of this awesome little device at 1010music.com. Please join up at the forum and ask any questions if you have them and chat to the other users there. It's quite an awesome little community building up. And uh, please stay tuned for a lot more in-depth tutorials and videos forthcoming. Really enjoying creating music with this awesome portable little device and uh, looking forward to hearing what others are doing with it in the future. So thanks a lot for watching and have a great day.